guys, we are back again. Today, today's video subject yeah. is all about what does business casual mean? Yeah, so, that's a good yeah. question. Are they you? Right. Yeah, you business casual, smart casual. So for example, in the context, your boss says, we're gonna wear business casual from now on. What does that mean? What are you gonna mm -hmm. wear? So in my opinion, because it's all opinion based really, isn't it? There's no definition out there. I think business casual tends to mean you take a suit and you start stripping away certain elements and then it all suddenly becomes casual. So for example, I would either take a full suit where you had a jacket, trousers, shirt and a tie and just remove the tie. Mm -hmm. That's now business casual. Or I would keep the tie and get rid of the blazer. That's business casual. Or I would potentially get rid of the tie and the blazer and wear a cardigan or a jumper. Again, business casual, smart casual. So you still have elements of business, but you've started to remove away certain layers and replace it with something else or just simply removing it, really. So my, I think the first move for business casual, get rid of the tie. Yeah. The second I, I move. I think, yeah, that's, anyway, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah, that's the most basic one, right? Yeah. And then second move, you can either keep the tie and get rid of the blazer. I don't, I can't picture any, anywhere where you would remove the blazer and keep the tie though and just wear a shirt and tie to work some people do it it's a good look it's a nice look shirt and I, tie yeah I get shirt, it shirt tie and jumper it all looks good I get it if you're in business and you're like it's too hot I'm just not wearing a jacket today mm. but as a as a thing like no more jackets I would say it's mostly the tie that goes yeah, but it depends. again I, I think the jacket makes it very formal the jacket definitely makes it very formal once that's okay. gone Wearing a shirt and a tie is very, it's just not, it's not that utmost level of business like, shall I, shall I say, but it's still smart. Okay. I would say with the tie on, you're still in the smart room. I think if you drop the tie, just a shirt, just a shirt, just a shirt and blazer, yeah. So would you say like a sports jacket and chinos, is that too far into casual? No, I think that's still, I still think that's smart casual because a blazer is in, it's still in the same structure as a jacket. Mm -hmm. So it's still the same. So patterns, blazers, I think that's when you start getting a bit more business casual as well. Mm -hmm. So for example, your, your business attire would be just plain corporate colours. When you start getting more bold patterns on blazers like you mentioned as well, I think that's when you start getting into business casual. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, chinos, definitely. Cool. And shoes, you know, obviously the Oxfords, the Brogues, the um, the, the Chucker boots, Chelsea boots. I think it's, it opens up a range of shoes you can start wearing mm. now with the casual looks. But um, yeah. yeah, it it all really depends on your workplace. Um, yeah, you know, well. if you're in finance or something, and they say business casual, would you wear jeans or chinos? You probably would just drop the tie and rock the suit. But again. It all depends on the type of company, yeah. and and again to you personally, what what it means to you. But um, yeah, for me, I would always say if someone says to me casual, if that word casual comes in, it means drop a tie, at the very least, drop the tie, and then yeah, take it from there. Cool. Well, there you have it. That's our opinions on business casual. I hope you learned something from it. Let us know what you think business yeah. casual is. You guys probably, some of you guys viewers work in offices and your dress code could be business casual. Tell us, you know, your feedback on it. Good point. Good point. Yeah. There you go. Keep the good parts. Throw away the rest. And that's it. Keep learning. Keep educating each other. But um, look, continue to send your questions into us at askamawesomemore.com. Continue to like, subscribe and comment on these videos. We appreciate every single one. And continue to interact with us on our several social media streams on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Did I say, I said Facebook already. Instagram, YouTube, and I think that's it. Twitter. And Twitter. That's it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Till next week. Cool. Until then, guys. And the blue ones. Are, these are the first time wearing the red ones. Okay. Where we're going to answer... And again, <coughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I saw this bloke, and he walked into a room once, looking absolutely spectacular. Every single person looked around. I need to walk into a room 
and have that. But I want to feel like that. When I actually met up with these guys and said, look, I've been recommended to you, I realised that what I was actually getting wasn't something that was a suit. I then rolled my suits from what's more around the world. I spoke on the largest stages for the largest companies with celebrities that you couldn't imagine. There is no way on earth that Morts and More are a tailoring company. They've enabled me to regain my confidence. Morts and More are in the business of enabling self-confidence. And for that, I'd like to thank you.